What up YouTube? So today I have a review for you guys. It is on the Anise Beauty Pro Matte Liquid Lip in a collab they did with Mercedes Javid. And if you don't know who that is, that is MJ on the show Shaws of Sunset that is on Bravo TV. So if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you'd know that I am obsessed with Shaws of Sunset. Um, I started watching the show about three, four years ago, and I've caught up to as much as I could access, you know, with the past episodes, but I've watched from then. I think the reason why I'm so obsessed with them is because of where it takes place. It takes place in Los Angeles, which is originally where um, I'm from. Not Los Angeles, but you know, California. So it kind of made me feel at home to watch them, and then I just kind of fell in love with you know each one of their personalities my favorite on the show is reza and asa i absolutely love them and i like how spunky and spontaneous they are so i was stalking on her instagram and i saw that she came out with liquid lips with a beauty company so i was like i have to get them so i got these in the mail on monday and today is thursday and it came in a package and it came with her picture and on the back of it it says hey gorgeous thank you so much for your liquid lip purchase I love creating such versatile colors that work for every skin tone day and night I hope you love them as much as I do and it says XOXOMJ I think she signed it if so I'm keeping this so I don't know when this launched or when it released I obviously bought the full collection she came out with three shades with them and the names of the three shades are Vita Natalie and MJ until recently or when I purchased it there wasn't much money saving if you bought the bundle so individually they are 20 bucks each but if you buy the whole collection, they're on sale for 50 bucks. Originally, they were 60. It is claimed to be a pro matte lip and it is cruelty free. I love it when products are cruelty free. With the liquid lips, you get 0.22 ounces of product. I'm going to be comparing other liquid lips to it because I feel like it would suffice and be very helpful for you guys. For the ColourPop Liquid Lips, which as we all know is very inexpensive, you get about 0.11 ounces and that is less, about half, than what you would get in the Mercedes Javid collection. For the Anastasia, you get 0.11 ounces as well, so it's less. So her liquid lipstick is 20 bucks each. It's about the same price for less product, but the quality is much better. So with these liquid lips, I was drawn to the packaging. So cute, right? Even if I don't use these lipsticks, I will keep them as novelty pieces because I love the packaging. It is plastic, so I do feel like if you put it in your purse and kind of let it roam around and not keep it like in a bag of its own, I do feel, I do feel like they'll break. But that's because of the, how the quality feels. Like I do feel like they could break off. I've never seen lipstick packaging look like this. And I feel like it definitely fits MJ. You know, they're so proud of their culture. And I love that, you know. And I love that the packaging is definitely has those vibes. This is what it looks like. It is so cute. So the first shade, and it also has the name of the shades on the bottom, like in a sticker kind of thing but the first shade i'm gonna swatch is vita and i believe this shade is named after her mom and i wore this shade for the first time a couple days ago and i liked the color of it then next i'm going to swatch mj and then lastly i'm gonna swatch natalie which i heard natalie is her cousin that she's really close to so that's who she named the lipstick after and that is Natalie. Like I've said, I have worn these liquid lips throughout this week. I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion and reviews about them. Mm -hmm. First off, it is claimed to be a matte liquid lip and I find that it has more of a... I put on this lip like prior to even starting to film this video so about 
15-20 minutes ago and it's still sticky. It does take some time to dry down. But you know, it's not like that matte matte where it's, you know it won't budge. It's more of like a satin consistency to me. Some of them dry faster than others. I find that MJ dried faster than both of these actually. And it also pulls more of a cool undertone. So if you are warm toned like me, um, it might look a bit off but the look I wore with it made it fitting so it didn't look too off but for a yellow undertone it could be hard to pull off as for the other two colors I feel like they suit warmer tones um, as for being friendly for everyone I don't know about that I feel like for darker skin tones this might be like a washed out peach color it might not look nice on darker skin tones but even for MJ even though this would seem like a color suitable to darker skin tones it is actually pretty light and I will insert a picture of me wearing it right here and then as for Vita I feel like it would you know be a nice everyday color for darker skin tones which I will also insert a picture right here of me wearing it do I think the lipsticks are worth 20 bucks no do I think you could get better quality lipsticks for 20 bucks and under? Yes. Let me show you guys. This is the applicator for it. So it's your standard Dofo applicator. Um, it's definitely very flimsy to apply. The colors for all the lipsticks are very opaque for the most part. I feel like it's kind of showing through right here. I only went through one time on the lip. With the other shades, they are very opaque. So I'm going to apply the other two shades on my lips so you can see what that looks like. But taking this off, oh my gosh, you need like a oil cleansing balm to really take this off. A couple nights ago when I tried MJ, for some reason, because I always use oils to take off my makeup, and it transferred to my chin. And I could not take it off. It was the weirdest thing. I had to like grab my Clinique cleansing balm and I had to like just take it off that way. But my mis like my Garnier couldn't take it off, which was weird. The lipstick was pretty much on there. It was not easy to take off. So I'm going to be putting on MJ. The smell of this particular one smells like a Gerard Cosmetics lipstick liquid lipstick I had mocha and I, I thought the colors were similar but they're not kind of like a cupcakey smell to it they all have like a cupcake smell but this is MJ as you can see it's a cool toned purple mauve shade it actually is fitting to my look today too as well I'm gonna wipe her off and then I'm going to apply Vita. They do not stain your lips so you don't have to worry about that. I feel like it's a very pretty color for spring. Um, out of all the colors in this collection, if I were to purchase one, this would be the color. If you are wondering on the longevity of these liquid lipsticks, if you eat something or drink something, it will come off. But it's very comfortable on the lips, you know, it doesn't leave your lips feel drying. It has kind of like that soft feeling to it. I honestly don't see myself using this collection often. I'd probably wear this one though, like if I were to go for a no makeup makeup look. For her name, it's kind of like stickered on there. And that's why I feel like this isn't worth the amount of money that it's selling for because the way that they have the names on here it's like a sticker it's not engraved it's not printed on the packaging so as you can see it's literally a sticker on the bottom like you can lift it up and take it off and even back here um, her name is stickered on Let's see it's like stickered I'm not too sure if Mercedes has done other collabs with other makeup companies. To my knowledge, I feel like this is her first one. Nonetheless, I'm so excited to have these because of the packaging. Would I repurchase them? No. Um, but I'm probably not going to use them either. Um, they're just going to sit on my shelf. But that is my review for you guys. I hope it was helpful if you've never heard um, of 
this look with lipstick collab and you're obsessed with shadows of sunset i hope you check it out thanks so much for tuning in if you aren't already please subscribe because it would mean a lot to me if you want to keep up with me elsewhere i am on instagram snapchat and twitter at brie k it. please give this video a like if you like these types of videos so that i know and i will do more for you guys thanks so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in my next one on the anise that is upside down snapchat or insta story <laughs> i can't so let's watch it like i said i would and i still haven't watched it yet so the